you've me, restarted. Let me, let me, let me Fair just enough. stop you so you don't waste a line of questioning. I'm just giving you. <laughs> I the love the mansplaining. I'm enjoying it. You're loving what? The mansplaining that's going on. What's what? Or just mean? talking me through how how what well you, what by you, not answering the question what by you, what you, what you repeating suggesting? processes which so. are not related to the question that I've asked. What's, what's mansplaining, what's Senator? Well, it's the slightly patronising and condescending way that you're responding to my questions. Well, I would suggest, Senator, that if you're putting the word man in front of uh, some description of what I'm doing, you're doing that which I'm sure you're very much against, is making a, a sexist implication about how I'm conducting my role well, as a man. Well, then the easiest way what, to do is that it... What, is that what well, you're saying, Senator? Well, what I'm saying is that the way you've been responding to me has been patronising and condescending, and I have responded to that. So the easiest by, by, by way to deal with I this is not, imagine, is, not ima to, imagine, Senator, is not to, imagine to have if that I said way you were in woman responding splaining. to the questions imagine I've Imagine the asked. reaction, Senator, if I said you were woman-splaining. You're saying that I'm mansplaining. Well, it is a term that's used Is it when, by whom? Well, by it rude, is a term that's used. By rude... It doesn't, doesn't make By rude senators. Uh, by senators no. who are seeking to make gender an issue. Stop being a hypocrite. Well, Conduct yourself it. appropriately for this well, place. I'm sorry you're so offended by the use of the word. It is it is a word that's used. Uh, it's it's a. I'm surprised that you're so shocked by the use of the word. No, I'm just um, I'm just calling hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Well, thy name yes. is Labor. Thy name is Senator Gallup. She is completely right here. If it was used the other way around, it'd be chaos online. It'd probably lose his job. It'd just be chaos. She's saying that he's shocked at, at the word, that he didn't know what it meant. I'm pretty sure he knew what it meant, and he just told you what it meant. He's shocked at the fact you tried to use it against him, but he knows his stuff, and he kind of made you look stupid. It was pretty deserved. She's a 10, but she thrives off the attention of nine other guys. She's a zero. <laughs> Why is that video so long? She's a zero. Done. End of video. God damn right. What is something that sounds perfectly normal and reasonable unless a man says it? I've cheated on you, so now we're breaking up. The kids are staying with me. You have to move out. You also have to pay child support. And if you want to see your kids, you need to fight for them. Imagine a dude saying that, but that seems normal nowadays. Unfortunately, that's the day and age we live in. There's some things us men can't say, women can. If a man says this compared to a woman, the consequences are completely different. I've been dating my boyfriend for almost four years and um, occasionally we will bump heads. I love him to death, but we'll bump heads when we have a difference in opinion. Um, for and, uh, I think my happiness should be his priority. Let me just say that. You so think what? My happiness should be his priority. So I want to oh. give an example. So he's been growing a beard for um, the last two years. Um, I'm, I, I'm going to love him either way, whether or not he has the hair, but I didn't ask for this beard. And I kind of want the beard to go back the way that it was when I first got with him. And, um, you know, I just want to know your opinion because I watched the episode when you had Marjorie, when you were talking about your beard and Marjorie loves your beard and that's why you have the beard. So I want to mm. know what's your opinion? Shouldn't he be consulting me before he makes these decisions? And what would you say if Marjorie didn't like your beard? Making your woman happy. Yeah, it's important. But is it his main priority? No, it isn't. What makes you think you're so special that he has to prioritize your happiness? If your man's paying the bills, he's taking care of you, he's taking care of the house, he's taking care of the kids, he's putting food on the table, he's working hard, he's paying for the luxuries you do in your relationship like going out for dinner, he protects you at any time, if any trouble comes your way, he'll put his life on the line to defend you and the family. So you should be prioritizing his happiness, making him as happy as possible and settled as a man. See, I've said this a million times, Women don't really know what a man wants. If your man's doing all the things I mentioned, you should be trying to make him as happy as possible, being nurturing, loving, affectionate, making sure his belly's full. When he comes home from work, there's a nice clean house. When you walk down the street, you hold his arm, you make him feel loved. But when women act entitled like this, we don't appreciate it. And a man of value isn't gonna put up with this, trust me. What's your type? I have a girlfriend. So what's your type then? <laughs> My girlfriend. And what does she look like? She looks like my girlfriend. So what would you rate me out of 10? Um, I can't do that. You can't rate me at all? I can't rate you at all. What would you rate your girlfriend out of 10? She broke my scale because she's so beautiful. Stop it. Get some help. I do not accept a coffee or a walk as a possible date option and neither should you. 
gentlemen, be very wary of these women who are very high maintenance. This woman or any other woman who thinks that they are entitled to something just because of their looks or even something else is just ridiculous. So yes, I do agree that a walk date is pretty lame, but coffee date, nothing wrong with that, especially for the first date. If you don't drink alcohol and you don't want to sit down across from someone and get dinner or spend a lot of money on dinner, and I bet you this woman probably wants a very fancy restaurant, it is completely acceptable to go on a coffee date for your very first date and save dinner down the line. Record, I have a witness here who just said she's a witness. Your partner's a what? Go away, you are aggressive. Yeah, can you move out of the way? I have a witness here. For what? What do you have a witness for? You could have come and asked me nicely. What do you mean nicely? You can't park here. You can't block the traffic. Ask me nicely. I don't care. You don't make me want to help you. Are you not helping me, lady? Is that truck abusing people? Shut your f***ing mouth. Hurt you. Baby, I don't think I've seen you smile like that. You're annoying. You're being hella annoying. You're being hella annoying. You're being annoying. You're being annoying. Guys, 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 guys. I work with the middle school. It doesn't matter. You're being annoying. You're being annoying. Hey, everybody, chill out. 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 Hey, everybody, chill we're just going to have listen, you uh, leave for and now. Please do. And then you can have it come another time when we have a topic listen, that uh, will would be to. aligned more with your... Just stand up and walk away. I actually sure. got okay. Suki. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to walk you out. I'm going to walk you out. I'm going to walk you out. We got you. We got you. All right. Suki is the goat. Okay. Where she came from? I was trying to talk to her. So... <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. Right. Okay, Nothing so crazy. what we'll do is we'll do a we'll do a panel. Y'all keep letting them men talk over you, and I respect you because I had a conversation. We didn't know that it meant so. Okay, mommy, please push the narrative. Please push the narrative. What's the narrative? What is the narrative? What's the narrative? We're on city boy for the city boy. This must be a long episode. Everybody, shut up. Everybody, be quiet. Can we move around the little table a little bit? Can we get some more food? If you were to look at me and rate me on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate me? I like a 6. What are these men? They are f***ing savages. They must have been from the f***ing Ice Age. Yes, sir! Give an ugly guy a chance, he thinks he rules the world. Liter I swear to God. So I'm pretty sure you all know who this chick is. I've seen clips online of her talking about body positivity, but the clip speaks for itself. She's clearly being a hypocrite. She's one of the biggest artists in the world right now. You gotta be careful when you're going on camera. You can't let your guard down. And you clearly did. It's not a good look. It's not a good look.